Hey guys, Scott from Axleboy. Today, we're gonna talk about our newest build, 2022 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition. So this one's a little bit different from us. You guys know we're always into Toyotas and we're always into Jeeps. I wanted to try a different manufacturer. I uh, did some looking at the Chevy Colorado. I found out that the ZR2 Bison comes equipped with all the cool things that we like. Integrated hidden winch. Uh, we just have to add the, the actual winch itself. The mount is already there built into the bumper. And in typical AEV fashion, we've got rock sliders, front and rear bumpers, all the pieces we need to get this thing ready for off-road. Boron steel skid plates, all equipped that way from the factory. On this build, we really wanted to go for that exploration overland type experience. This is not built to be a rock crawler or a heavy off-roader. It's built to be a daily driver that can also get you off to some of those forest roads and to explore. And the nice thing about the ZR2 is it comes equipped with front and rear electric lockers and some of the cool things that we're used to seeing on some of our Jeeps and our off-road projects. Stuff comes from that way out of the factory. Makes it real nice. Push a couple buttons, you can get yourself out of a jam. The IFS suspension, while maybe not perfect for some of those rock crawling things, it makes the highway and the gravel roads, it just tames them like they're nothing. It makes it super easy to drive. We like the AEV conversions flare kit. We added that flare kit because we can run a 35 inch tire with no lift on it. This way we can keep all that engineering in our suspension and keep it the same. And one of the nicest things about the ZR2 is this design with a special set of shocks, suspension system, it's tuned for some of the best off-road, high-speed desert and off-road obstacles. And they really put a lot of technology into this thing and it just eats up the bumps and the speed bumps and the gravel roads like they're butter. On this vehicle, we also equipped it out. We have the uh, Retrax Pro XR roll-up tunnel cover. That's a hard shell roll-up tunnel cover that can support up to about 200 pounds. So the Retrax XR comes with the rails built into it so you can put on anybody's crossbars. It uses uh, the square nut technology uh, so we can use crossbars from Rhino Rack or from Thule or from any of the other brands that you're, uh, that you're currently using. We can also add on any of the brackets, the baskets, the bike carriers, all the stuff can be added on super quick without having to drill or add anything extra to the top of the bed of the truck. It's kind of like uh, using a rack that's gonna carry your tent or whatever, but uh, it's super easy to take this off. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It goes away when you don't want it. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. This vehicle was also equipped to be pulled behind a motorhome. We use the Roadmaster brackets. Those are hidden away. We have plenty of ground clearance. We're not worried about them dragging the uh, off-road or anything like that. They're tucked away. They have removable front bars. So when you're not using it on a, on a flat toe, it virtually disappears completely. We also equipped this one with the iCamper SkyCamp 3.0 Mini. This is a two person hard shell tent. Sets up in about a minute, sets down in about a minute and a half. Probably the nicest tent that's out there on the market. And if you guys don't know, we're keeping these in stock, so we got them ready to go. I worked with Jim Butler Chevrolet down here in St. Louis. I was really attracted to this vehicle because this is a joint venture between General Motors and American Expedition vehicles. And I know that my Jeep fans, I know you guys know AEV because they've been doing that for a long time. They came out with the Ram trucks. They're also building those, the Prospector Edition. And then now they've collaborated with uh, General Motors where they're putting many of the accessories on here right off the factory. So this truck was outfitted pretty well right out of the gate. The only thing that we added was the snorkel and the fender flare package and the hidden uh, winch in the uh, relocation for the control pack to get all that added in to get uh, winch capability off that stock bumper. Everything else that was on this truck was on there originally. And that includes the high clearance front bumper, the high clearance rear bumper, transfer case skid, engine skid, and it's all in upgraded materials. And this is all put on right here in the plant out in Wentzville. This is actually uh, built by GM. It's not a conversion after the fact. 